when we talk about the number of men. Uh, the church has been afraid of the redemptive act because they're afraid we're going to be uh, humanistic or whatever. Now let me give you a statistic which is very, very important. Son of God in the New Testament is used 58 times. Now I, this is not just Mumford's ideas. So I took my concordance and I wanted to know how many times Jesus called himself and is identified as Son of Man. Now I just recently discovered Son of Man could be translated Son of Humanity. And I thought, oh my goodness. So Christ comes. Now, oh, I almost forgot to give you the number. Son of God, 58 times. Son of Man, 199 times. Shocker! Yeah, that's it. Where does that go? What are the implications of that? And here's my, here's my summary. They thought this is not a teaching. These are all just summary statements. It is clear to me, Acts, um, 1731, the day will come when God will judge all humanity through a man. And that man is his redemptive act. One strong aspect of his redemptive act is to restore me as a human being, to be human as God the Father intended. Christ came as the ideal man. If we are conformed to his image, we too will become an ideal human. We will be human as God intended.